Today's artist is going to enthrall you with her absolute incredible vocals. Liquid Gold, that's the only term I can use for this artist. Minnie Long is not that long writing for herself and performing. If you think of uh, the English singer Tate, or is it Ray? Ray, R-A-Y-E. She was an artist that wrote for so many superstars, Beyonce included, and didn't perform. Then she put herself forward, started performing, and look at her now. She, Brit Award, all of that behind her. Secondly, when you think of Lady Gaga, all the way back, just before Poker Face, she was writing for other people in America, other artists, other groups, and they were getting notoriety, and then she stepped forward with Poker Face, and the rest is history. Mooney Long is one of those people that's come forward after writing songs for a lot of people. And I'm going to give you the bio of her and give you a bit of background. She is Priscilla Renee Hamilton, known as Mooney Long, an American singer-songwriter from Guildford in Florida. Under her birth name, she released her so solo debut album, Jukebox, in 2009 through Capitol Records. Then she spent, and this is the important bit, the following decade writing songs for artists including hit singles California King Bed for Rihanna, Worth It for Fifth Harmony, Love So Soft for Kelly Clarkson, Imagine for Ariana Grande and the global topping hit Timber for Pitbull featuring Kesha. Yes, this lady wrote that song. Returning to her recording career, she independently released a second second studio album call it in June of that year which saw Hamilton in exploring Americana and country soul uh, genres after adopting the name Mooney Long she further had recording success for a 2022 single hers hers and hers HRS which reached the top 20 Billboard 100, promoting a recording contract with Def Jam Records. The song also received a Grammy Award for Best R&B Performance, which you'll understand when you listen to this performance and woman's voice. Exceptional is an understatement for, for finding this person and bringing her onto my channel for you all to save her. You will thank me after you listen to her. Anyway, she was nominated throughout her career for Best New Artist, as I said, Best R&B Song, that was hers and hers, HRS is how it's spelt, and a nomination for Album of the Year through her work on Back of My Mind, <coughs> 2021, by H.E.R. And H.E.R. is also a female singer. Now, let's get going with the song itself. What is she going to sing for us today? And it is... A song that explores the theme of missed opportunities and longing for love that never materialized. That's today's song. The lyrics portray a sense of regret and a yearning for connection that never had a chance to blossom. Now this comes from Mooney's and we'll give a shout out to the album called Time Machine and it's track seven, one of eight tracks on that album and hers and hers is on that as well. It's a must-have album for people who genuinely love R&B and soul music. You'll also love this woman after listening to today's guest, Mooney Long, an exceptional song, Butterfly Effect. And that's what you're going to get, butterflies, when you hear her voice. Why do I say that? Take a listen. Oh, no. 
about No picket fence and no house I'll never carry your child Isn't she exceptional? Isn't she just like such a fine? That song's been out a year, by the way, and I just come across her. I think Mooney Long is epic in every sense of the word, musically and vocally. Beautiful track. The music that accompanied that voice was exceptional. I loved the wings and the background. Whomever came up with that idea, even though it was called Butterfly Effect and they thought of butterflies, I think it was tastefully done. And you get butterflies listening to that voice. That's what I said before the video. She has some extra quality, something exceptionally amazing that, Mooney, you should have been singing and producing records 25 years ago. Oh, but with the passing of Whitney Houston, with the demise of Celine Dion, with, and that's health-wise, I'm not saying anything bad when I say demise, she has suffered, she is suffering, and God help her, she's given so much to the music industry. I have Celine Dion on my channel, huge fan. And people always raving about Beyonce, sometimes I feel it's OTT over the top, and I feel personally there are other singers out there worth more attention. And isn't Mooney Long one of those people that can fill the gap of those that have moved aside musically because of health or other reasons and deserves that over the top attention just by listening to that. I'm glad I brought her to your attention. She is amazing. Check those videos out made for me and also hers and hers, the live performance. Check it out on YouTube. You won't be disappointed. I'll give you the links as always in the description. Now we get into the very short lyrics. The intro says, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, lots of yes, yeah. And then, oh, yay. I'm sorry. I have to be cool and young when I say this. Yay. And verse one says, and here we go. Eventually the good girls make bad decisions. Like, and because of the expletive word on YouTube, it won't be in my, when when you hit the subtitles for all the fans around the world that are following me and subscribers, and also YouTube strict policy. So I can't say the word, but um, I it begins with F and ends with N. So with bad boys, who the, all the women. The pre-chorus says, and then somewhere there's a transition, turn the good girls into bad bitches. But she would do it over if she had three wishes. And that she is me. That first verse reflects on the relationship itself. And it's never fully developed the relationship. There was no heartbreaks. And even in the lyrics, there's no heartbreaks. It's not about that. It's about regrets. It's about personal dismay and upset over adversity. In other words, it broke up. And then there's that wonder, oh, I wonder how they're doing. I wonder if we did this, we did that. 
everyone goes through that when they break up they do they think if only I could have done this if only I could have said that if only things were different but can I say I say this all all the time even to people around me if you break up you break up for a reason if you move on you move on for a reason and there are reasons in life why a you have to be alone for a long time before something happens or b you find love quickly you're meant to move a different path in life but and i have to admit this even though i'm with my current partner 16 years i still reflect on my ex even though he was violent and i've talked about it in many videos and i just felt I wonder what he's doing now there's that sense of i wonder you know if things could have been and you actually punish yourself saying that because when the words come out of your mouth you feel you're letting yourself down but curiosity there's a saying kills what's it curiosity kills the cat and it it almost kills you on a personal level not knowing what if mm, i wish mm. we've all been at the wish what if stages but that there, there are no shared uh, moments in the in the first verse and there's no disagreements because there was never a genuine connection in this relationship that's why the lyrics are so simple in what she says the distance between the two individuals herself and the person she's broken up with is emphasized highlighting just an emotional separation let's go into verse 2 no, we'll go into the chorus and then the post-chorus before verse 2. It says, one, I wish I never fell in love. Don't we all say that when things break up? All of us do. I wish I never fell for you, but you did. And we all do fall for people that we shouldn't have, but it happens. If I just had one more wish, aye, 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 I'd go back and do it all over again. But would you do it with the same person is what I would ask. I would say you probably would choose a different person. Now it says, wish I had a time machine. Baby, if I had a time machine, I would hop inside my time machine, rearrange history, get rid of some of the memories, anything that ain't serving me. I wish I had a time machine. Go back to when you lied to me. So obviously that was the distrust and the cause. It usually is with relationships when they break up. And oh, I was so sad. That's the day a good girl turn bad and don't you turn bad because the rebellious nature is in us all and if they're not going to care about you if you know they've lied to you you do turn a blind eye and you it's almost like without saying it verbally you're forgiving them by turning the blind eye not having that communication that row allowing them to do that with my ex i allowed the multiple people he had slept with became multiple multiple people and I feared for my health and I never had that one-to-one -one connection and uh, in conversations to say I treasure my health here what the hell are you doing to me when we're intimate so I stopped the intimacy and everything fell apart after that because with an narcissist and especially somebody who's psychopathic if they don't get what they want and the attention that they feel they need at, at a given time they go crazy but then most people do, but some various levels. Verse two says, try to act like I didn't care, but I was bothered. Oh sure, I had it bad. You caught me up, of course you do. You're emotional, you got feelings, you got a heart. Yeah, that's what happens. It's done, turned me into a savage like Rihanna. <laughs> I wish I'd put on your father when the situation was so bad. If you stay, it's disrespectful. I thought I was special and that's why it was so hard for me to let go. Of course, it's hard to let go. Of course, when you think you're special and you've heard the love word and you've been intimate with somebody that you feel is going somewhere, to have that stripped away from you, good God, this, it's the most awful feeling in the world. Because the pre-choruses before that is a theme of missed chances. And that's what I think in this song, she's stressing, could I, would I, should I, situations if it maybe it could have been and then it would have been altogether now different it wouldn't have been it wouldn't have been once there's lies in a relationship it's already 
at, at ground level. It's like the, I won't say the word for explicitive reasons on YouTube, but I will say it in Spanish. It's like the caca, C-A-C-A, -C -A, on your shoe. I'm sure that you step in. That's what they've been talking to you. So when it's at that level, you just walk away. You do. But the singer suggests that fate intervened, preventing them from crossing paths. But the reason that she's doing that and saying that in the lyrics is she's self-punishing herself because she's she's taken on the self-blame of the breakup. One always does. Oh, it's, it must have been my fault. Good God. Um, you've got to ask yourself, why was it your fault? It probably wasn't. An experience from crossing paths and experiencing a romantic encounter. Another one, in other words, from outside the relationship. The metaphor of God within the lyrics here, running out of ink, implies that the story was never meant to be written or fulfilled. It was one of those things that you come into and you leave. The lack of love and union is further emphasized in the chorus itself, where the singer prays not to miss out on the love of their life, emphasizing their desire for a meaningful connection. So she has moved on. She is wanting what she never got out of the previous relationship, and that takes a strong person. And it takes a person with a bit of brains to say, I've got to do this for myself. I deserve love. Yes, you do. The, it, the world would be a much happier place if we could all just love each other and find love, wouldn't it? So when it went into the second verse, the singer was fantasizing about what could have been. Because if you look at the lyrics again, it says, Get me caught up, it done me, it done turned me into a savage. Rihanna, mm, I put that on your father. In other words, that's inheritance. Maybe there was a drink problem there, or the father treated the mother bad, and you've just become the same. But when the situation's so bad, if you stay, it's just, it is disrespectful if the person had a state, considering they were lying, it was falling apart. It would have been a pretense and they would have carried on with different affairs in the relationship. So dis the disrespecting side of it is something you need to respect yourself, not to allow that to happen. That's a tough one when you feel, oh, I love this person. Maybe it's me. So it goes into <clears throat> that side of things in the second verse, exchanging vows, building a future. However, external circumstances like getting stuck in traffic or missing an exit prevented this hypothetical future from become, becoming a reality. Now my summary of the lyrics is, the missed opportunity leads to further longing and a sense of what you might have had. Because if we go down to the last bit, it says, which had my time machine, she goes through all that again, which had the time machine. Oh, I was so sad. That's the day a good a girl turned bad. She goes out going, yeah, 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 wish I had a time machine. But wouldn't we all love a time machine? As I've just said, any missed opportunity in life leads to further longing and a sense of what might have been. And what happens is if it, it opens up another door for somebody else to come in and that, that sense of longing and love is then shared with somebody else because you've left that door open. And what might have been with them is now with some, someone else. So learn everybody from these lyrics. And the butterfly effect is when you have butterflies, learn to go with that, with somebody else, and move on from a toxic relationship. That's my advice. So thank you for the introduction, Money Long, to Butterfly Effect. I hope you enjoyed my analysis. Take care.